Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about some hidden hidden feature of Flutterflow and which is the playground. So I don't know if you know, but Flutterflow actually has a playground and it's called UI playground or and the link to reach this playground it's playground.flutterflow.io. I'll actually put the link in the description so it's easier to just click on it. And what is that idea? Like I said, it's a hidden or a secret feature. Uh, not a lot of guys know about you, but the one who actually follow my channel, uh, you are the one who actually uh, we I will reveal this secret for you. Uh, and it's a, it's made more like a hidden feature, not a secret. Uh, and you're. If you're wondering why should I use the playground and there are a couple of ways you can use the playground. So first of all, that the playground exists, let me go through the playground first before I can give you some examples uh, why you want to use it or how you want to use it. Uh, and first of all, you get this main uh, scaffold widget, which is the main widget and it says playground page. And this is the left side and you can actually add uh, widgets over here, which is like the normal way of ad adding widgets uh, in Flutter Flow. Uh, and then you have, you can add widgets from here as well, from this button, add widgets. And then uh, you can, of course, see this. Uh, those are the keyboard shortcuts, which are usable uh, in the playground as well. And you can play animations. Uh, so this will be one thing. You can actually play animations. You can test your animations over here in the playground. Of course, you can zoom in, zoom out uh, to see the bigger and the smaller screen. Uh, and then you can actually see the actual phone here. And we have actions. So the action panel, it's a little bit strange to be honest, because uh, in theory, you should not supposed to use any actions. Uh, but uh, you still can open the actions panel and uh, and put some actions over here, which in theory will not work. If you find some actions that they will work, let me know. Uh, but uh, fortunately, I think none of the actions will actually work, except maybe for the alert dialog or some very basic actions. Uh, and we have, of course, we have the animations. Probably the animations right now is not here. It's not working for this particular, it's because of the scaffold, uh, but you can actually add animations. You can see it over here. You can add a page load or you can add on action trigger, uh, which is great. And then let me delete this. Uh, and, and on the most right side of the panel, you can actually see the actual code, which is amazing if you ask me, because if I click over here to add, let's say a text widget and I mark the text widget, I can actually see the actual code that is being generated from Flutterflow, which is, I think it's amazing. It's mind blowing how easy it is to copy and paste uh, something that you want uh, and then use it, reuse it in your, uh, in your custom code. So for example, if you want to have your own text widget in your custom code, you have to import. So they they also give you the imports. So you have to import this part and then include the text widget. And then what if I want to, let me delete this one because I think it's better to have a colon, of course, and then have a text widget over here. And then in the text widget, I can have something like a button. So let me try and do that. So I can click on the button and then you can actually see on the right side again, we have buttons. Uh, so we have the button and then we have home press and right now we are only printing something. But this is how, if you want to have a button inside your custom code, this is how you do it. You have to import this and then and this is the scaffold of the button. And I think this is great. This is amazing. You can even change the text, actually. You can say, like, click me, and you can see on the fly the actual code change changes, 
which is great. It is amazing. If you ask me, this is amazing. If you are into custom code and if you want to build something with using the custom code, I think this is great to actually see the actual code and what is being generated uh, from Photoflow. Uh, and there are all kinds of widgets over here. So we have the text widgets, we have the code, we have the row, we have the container, we have the image. And not, our, not all widgets are actually supported, but there are like a lot of widgets over here. You can actually see, I will go through them. There are a lot of widgets that you can use. And I think you can also use uh, the YouTube player, for example, and then you can put a YouTube link over here and it should work. In theory, it should work. Uh, and uh, this is a great, actually, uh, so so there are a couple of use cases for this. So first of all, the animations, you can use the animations for this and you can test your animations over here if they are working or not. The second use case is that you can actually build the UI over here. You can build the desired UI that you want. You can test it. You can see if everything is working, don't mess with your actual project. And then you can transfer this to your project. This is one way. The other way is to actually have something in your project already and then transfer it to the playground and then share it with someone, share it with wherever you want to. Because the main idea here is that the test, if you open the playground, every playground has a unique link. So when you save this link, it's very important to actually save the link because when you open the playground, if you don't save this link and then you open it again, it will actually generate a new link for you. So if you want to keep this link, you have to only copy the link and then save it somewhere, or you can actually send it to someone. So if I open a new page right now, and I will just show you, and I, load it over here. So let me switch to the screen. So now it's loading the same playground that I have in the other tab and you can boom, you can actually see that everything is loaded. And if I change something, let's say that I change the color over here, let's change it to blue, let's say blue. And then let's go back to the other playground and you can actually see it's not blue, but, but it's not actually changing on the fly. You have to refresh. So if I refresh, uh, you see right now it is refreshing. And in a few seconds, you actually see that this button is blue. And this is actually a great thing to collaborate with people as well. If you don't want, if you're not comfortable with sharing your project, or if you're just working on a UI elements, uh, you're testing things out and you don't want to mess with your project. This is actually a great way uh, to use it. Uh, and another great way to actually, I can, uh, I can actually try and show you uh, what I mean is let me go to my page uh, because what else you can do uh, is that if I go over here to my pages right now, uh, and then if I have a page, so, okay, so let's say that I have this page. Uh, and let's say that I, I like this page. It's not a great example, but let's say that I like this page. Let me just delete those two buttons. I don't need them. Uh, and, but let me say that I like this menu and I want to transfer this menu or just show this menu to someone. So just, I can copy that and I can do that with control C. I'm using Linux, so I can I can use Control C to copy it, and you can actually see over here that I copied those widgets and go back to my uh, to my test uh, to my sorry to my playground, and I can actually delete those right now, and then when I am inside the colon, I can click Control V, and you can actually boom, you can actually see all the widgets are being copied over here. So I think I can also copy it like that. Yeah, like that, yes, exactly. So if I click on the scaffold, I can co I can paste them, not copy, sorry, but paste them. And all the buttons are pasted. So uh, I know what you're going to ask. Uh, you get and you see that it's also copying the actions and the actions 
uh, in my case, is leading to some pages that, of course, you don't have access to over here. So if you go to the actions, you actually see the further flow will actually break because of that. But that's normal. Uh, the playground is supposed to be used only for the UI, only for UI testing and not for the actual actions, or if you have queries, they will also not work. But keep in mind, when you're copying and pasting, don't copy and paste using the right button because this will not work. The only way you can copy and paste between your project is, is actually uh, with, uh, with the keyboard, with the keyboard shortcuts. Uh, like I said, if you use something else, then other than the keyboard shortcuts, it will actually not work. And if you have something like the actions will also not work, keep that in mind. The actions will also not work. And if you have a query, uh, it will also not work. So let me show you what I mean. If I go to the home, I'm just searching for if I have somewhere a query, but I cannot find it to be honest right now. Uh, but let, let's do a query over to this button, uh, at this button. So I will query, I'll just do a very simple query of users and I'll get a single user. Uh, and then I will actually, this is not a very good example, actually. Let me just do an example with a text widget and I'll query it in the text widget. Uh, and then I'll query users and I'll query the single user. I don't really mind which user it will get me. And I just want to use the data over here and I want to display name. Great. So let me do the same thing. Click over the colon, copy the colon over here, delete this colon and just paste it. Control V to paste it. And now you can actually see I successfully paste the query as well, which is fine. You don't see the query. <laughs> let me go. Sorry. Let me do that one more time because I forgot to switch screens. So I click Control V and you can actually see that they paste it. And you can actually see the query uh, being pasted as well. But you can see that I'm getting unknown when I paste the query. And that is because, um, and that is because uh, this is not, it's not supposed to work with queries, to be honest. Uh, and this is actually a hacky way uh, to do it, but it will not work. Uh, I mean, you can you can get this set from variable, and you can actually see that this is uh, an old, very old version of Flutterflow because the old version, I think, the one of the first versions of Flutterflow, were using this kind of approach uh, of uh, uh, of setting the uh, variables. And this uh, playground is actually a very old, like I said, very old versions of Flutterflow. Uh, but I think if more people start to use the playground, I think the Flutter Flow team will actually uh, get, uh, will actually start and push them to get uh, better to the playground to get even better. Uh, so yeah, explore the playground. This is the playground. Like I said, two most important things. You get a personal link when you use the playground. So just use that personal link if you want to share it somewhere uh, and then uh, you just keep in mind that also you can share that but also you can copy and paste elements so like i said so those are the two things and the third thing actually is that you get a code like you see right now that is being generated and you can simply copy and paste the code and just uh, use it in your custom code so I really like, I really hope you like this video and I want to actually include a bonus tip for every video that I do right now uh, in the future. And uh, this will be the first video with a bonus tip. And let me actually show you this bonus tip. It's about car struct. In my case, the data type is called car. Now uh, it's about data types and first of all, actually recently changed uh, the data type and how you can actually create a data type inside Flutterflow. And previously, if I go to my GitHub, I actually changed. This is a new code. This is was this is the old code. The old code you can use it with create car and then struct. And right now, if you want to create data type inside your custom code, you can only use create struct. So keep that in mind. This is the bonus tip of the video. And uh, yeah, have a nice day.
Bye bye. Take care. I just want to say that the paid membership for YouTube is now open. So you can be a paid member to my YouTube channel, which means a lot. And thank you very much for all the people who are right now paid members to the channel.